With me here, I'm with the General Secretary of APSA. He will tell us about what exactly is happening, about the grievances and everything in details. Okay, we were com had complaints from our members of the union and community members because we've got several members in Hamanskra. Yes. They complain that they are not given options or alternatives in as far as the mode of transport is concerned. Our members report in the CBD of Tswane, but they are forced by the buses of municipality area to report in vulnerable. They cannot move in as far as the CBD is concerned when they are using taxi as the mode of transport. Then we are saying, look, uh, we were not part of the arrangement as members of the union and the workers in general when this program started. We are saying, therefore, our members should not be subjected to double expenditure because the same amount that they are using from Hamans Kral to the vulnerable is the same amount that they should be using from Hamans Kral to the CBD of Swan. By now, they are forced to use taxis in as far as vulnerable from, from vulnerable again to spend extra on the, the buses. And we are saying, look, we can't allow that double expenditure. As a result, we are appealing to the municipality to allow our members and community members and workers to use mode of transport of their choice. If they want to use taxis, let it be the case. If they want to use bicycles, let it be their choice. If they want to use buses, it should be their choice. We must remember that in Hamans Kral, the mode of transport is limited because even in Hamans Kral, there are no trains. Therefore, the limit is already there.